brought to you by Brand South Africa. 2012 World Economic Forum on Africa is currently underway in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Godfrey Mutiswa caught up with Jean-Louis Accra, the president of AFRIXIM, for more. Uh, we have to understand why there is such a low level of intra-African trade. Most African countries continue after 50 years of independence to produce essentially raw materials, commodities. Those commodities are not tradable with their neighbors because those neighbors are also producing that. So what we are doing, the work we are doing at Afrexim Bank is to make sure that there is further transformation of those commodities in the countries, in the continent, so that then you have finished product that can be traded with the others. For 2011, globally, our intervention in the continent was in the area of $5.5 billion. That is $5.5 billion that Afrexim Bank lent to various institutions, largely banks, but also companies, in order for them to uh, do uh, on lending and to transform the African economies. For 2012, our budget sees an increase of about 25% of that figure. That is, we will go to about $7 billion. Now, in terms of take up of that money, where are you seeing demand coming from? The usual uh, sectors. Right. In, you know, our institution deals with trade. You have several institutions. Uh, with, which deals with the African uh, continent for the economy of African continent. African Development Bank deals largely with infrastructure, health, uh, education, and so on. We deal essentially with trade. Now, when we look at trade, most of the demand will come in certain type of infrastructure, telecom infrastructure, uh, energy, power, which is a, a, a huge a problem in our continent. But then you have large demand for equipment, importing equipment in order to transform uh, African commodities. And this will help not only for intra-African trade, but it also will help to diversify the African trade. You know, uh, China, the uh, Indians and the like have a rising a middle class. So it's important for African economies yeah. to also look at tapping those markets. And in terms of the regions? In terms of the regions, you, you, as you rightly said, uh, there are two ma major regions which are the uh, building blocks, I would say, for intra-African trade. The West Africa region, with two leading countries there, well, which, is, uh, which are uh, Nigeria and Ivory Coast, and the southern uh, uh, region, which is SADC, where South Africa is play, playing uh, this role. Other regions have, are starting, and you can see uh, increasing interest in the Comesa area, essentially with the East African uh, economic community. Yeah. And in terms of the places where you're going to raise your money, just how difficult is it for you to raise money? Because we do know that the markets froze up in 2008 and have not really loosened since then. I can say that we have been lucky enough, uh, given our investment grade rating, to attract money anytime we have wanted. I can give you uh, two concrete examples. We went twice on the market for, to raise five-year bonds. The first time we went, uh, we could tap up to $2.2 billion, but we only raised 500 because that was what we needed. And last year, in uh, June, we all went again on the market. And the order book for another $500 million was $3.2 billion. We're also raising money from DFI, uh, Development Finance Institutions. Uh, our, one of our shareholders, which is the African Development Bank, DBSA, uh, S, uh, the IFC, and so on, have put uh, some money on the table to help us uh, help in our turn all our customers. And we also go on the uh, Euro syndicated markets to raise money. The last uh, one we did was $660 million two months ago in London. 